guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back on our free-to-play account. Absolutely loving it, guys. 37-48, we pushed over a full chapter in the last day or two. We've also been pushing all of our King's Towers. Um, really need to make a lot of progression in here. You can see we're really slacking on the World Tree right there, as well as our Celestial Tower to get more cards out of there, more of our of time emblems as well as the cards to do some summons so we're going to start off today and we're going to do a couple summons in here i have a few cards looking for some key heroes including our light bears of course we're building scarlet on this account guys one of the most important heroes when it comes to the twisted realm we already do have grez built out on here so it is kind of the the heroes that go hand in hand together so once we do have scarlet built out we'll be able to replace um, a lot of the team comps where we used to run Saurus, I mean, he was really the, the go-to before we were building out the, the plus 30 signature item Saurus. Um, since he has been replaced in every team comp that I'm aware of, um, Scarlet has really been the focus. We're trying to finish her out. I do have the mats to engrave her as well. We just got to get her up to that ascended with one star, which I'm hoping we're going to be able to do pretty soon. So down here, guys, we do have a couple stones. We've already saved up 11 elite hero stones. Um, we do have a lot of the Misty Valley to go ahead and clean out as well, but all of these stones have been pulled out of the towers. As we've been making a ton of progression, I went up like 60 floors on the King's Tower itself, which yielded us a ton of these hero stones, which I absolutely love to see. Fingers crossed we can get a couple more copies of Scarlet in here or some heroes that we need. Looking here, we have Peggy, we have Grez, we have Desira, so not too bad with the pulls there. We have Thorin, no Celestials, no Hypogens, and then we have Naren, Oscar, not really used. Peggy as well, um, not really used in many formations, so not the best pull overall, but we do get a couple more heroes to bring us closer, adding a star onto Rain, which will allow the engraving. Don't recommend it on her, but we did get another copy. Then, of course, taking another hero right there to Ascended. Absolutely love seeing that. Going to have to work out what heroes we're going to utilize for food. Even looking here, guys, Thor and Cheese does work incredibly well. We're starting to get into the five teams. Um, Hodgkin works very well. Izold is one that doesn't actually work. There's no utility with him that players are building out that really pushes him to be successful. He dies out early even when it comes to progression within the Greyborn Tower. He will actually doubt incredibly early. Um, we're still building Alna on this account. We do have Lucretia already built out. So Alna is the next factor, which will do a couple summons. Also got lucky with the Awakened Taylene. You can see there we already do have her at Mythic and we already do have another copy, which is kind of crazy because that is a lot of RNG pulls for the heroes that we got. So here we do have one summon with our common scrolls. We know the Glorious Summon should be up. I'm thinking today, so I'm thinking a little bit today, the Glorious Summons will be up. Since we already have a lot of our faction heroes built, um, we're going to go ahead. We still have 11 days here to finish out Scarlet. We're going to go ahead and do some Stargazer, guys. We have one pull with our cards. We have three pulls with our diamonds, continuing to focus on building out Alna. Fingers crossed we can get a couple copies of her. Worst case scenario, we get that much closer to getting more copies of her. Would love to see the diamonds. We haven't seen the diamonds in a long time, which there is a Mauler card. Four more pulls just gives us another Mauler card. Temple of Time, we do have one summon here, which of course we are looking for Taylene. Just some more resources. So overall, guys, not the best summon today. We did not get any of the heroes we are looking for. Oaken, I believe we have two pulls in here. And like I had said earlier, we are really looking to push this account, guys. Finishing out Scarlet, finishing out Alna. We have Oden in there. We have Entendre. Um, Peanuts in there. Scarath, we don't have any furniture. And then Mishka. A lot of heroes to still build on here, guys, which I absolutely love. It's challenging, a lot more challenging than I thought being completely free to play on an account. Um, does make a really, really big difference. Just takes a lot longer, and I know this game is really about the importance of time. Um, it does take an incredible amount of time, a lot of dedication. You know, when I look at players like Javid that are into Chapter 40 plus, that is an incredible amount of time to be able to push an account that far um, to actually build out the heroes that he has. He does have, you know, the meta heroes. He does well in the Twisted Realm. It is amazing to see the progression that is made in AFK Arena as a free-to-play player. 
All right, guys, so we got that built out on the Oak Inn, Temple of Ascension, we have completely done. Again, not too many pulls in there. Uh, Peaks of Time, we're still pushing in Hero, Her Heroes of Esperia. We're doing the exact same, trying to make some more progression in there. Um, building out faction specific again, we're looking at Scarlet Rose, two very co strong combination heroes, especially when it comes to killing out the guild bosses. Um, I'm actually not at that point yet. For the Maulers, we're looking at Entendre. We already have Kren built. We have we have um, Scrag and we have Brutus already built out. So Entendre, definitely looking to pick up some more copies. Here we have a star and we have Mishka. They're two real heroes that we're looking to build out. Already have just need more food, but we already do have copies of Mishka right in the bottom. Then for the Greyborn, um, Oden absolutely building out, and then we're going to build out Thorin as well so we can do the Thorin cheese. Once we get into 36, we can actually do the auto progression, which does make it incredibly easy to get through here. Then Celestials, of course, we're looking at Ulna, still building the Awakened Hero Taylene right there. Then for our um, Hypogen heroes, we're actually looking at building out Zorath. You can see right there, we already do have him at Legendary. Trying to get some more copies. We have one extra copy, almost to Legendary Plus. Then we just have to finish out the rest of the Dimensional heroes. Um, got Baba Yaga in there. We also do have Leonardo. Started building out some signature items with, with everything that I had in the bag to go ahead and continue our chapter through 35. So looking here, guys, again... We went with a couple different combinations. So this is actually the first team I went with our um, Elbato and our Eins comp. Very, very solid comp. Second team, um, we've just went with straight up Lucretia. So I put in all my Hypogen heroes. Big reason for that, guys, is you do get the bonuses. So you look down here in the very bottom, you get defense, energy recovery, crit rating, critical, critical strike damage, and haste in there, guys, because we do have the five Hypogens. Um, they're going to die out really quick, and we know that is the fact. And when they die out, they're, of course, going to make Lucretia much stronger, which allows her to win on these campaign stages. This one, guys, all Negrez is the combination here. Running Oden and Pharrell, of course, for massive crowd control. Then we have Silas in the back for the boost. And then this is kind of the hodgepodge team. Um, I've went with a couple different maulers. We've ran Kren in a couple of these formations. Um, Rowan really being a key to holding this one together. Damon the same. Damon is very tough to kill, guys. Even at this level, um, level deficiency, we're about, what, 80 levels? Yep, I think we're exactly 80 levels. Um, definitely not pushing too hard, but we have to make a lot more progression. Damon being completely built out can do exceptionally well with the survivability. Um, sitting behind Brutus, it's really hard to get to him and, him and kill which is cool to see. So those are four teams that I'm running right now. Very soon we are going to be into the five teams, which of course increases the difficulty a ton when you start getting to that level. So again, guys, that'll do it for the free to play. Just kind of an update. A lot of players were asking about how far we did push in there. We pushed almost to chapter 36 at this point, and we're gonna continue with this team making progression as we continue through here, guys. I, I wanna finish it out. And this is a tough team, guys, especially with Lucretia. Um, she dies out quick. We need to get her a little bit stronger. I'm going to have to build her up a little bit further to probably go through and continue making the progression. So, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'm going to have to work on Lucretia, maybe get her engraving up a little bit higher so she can actually solo a couple teams in here. But, again, let me know in the comments what you guys think. That will do it today for our free-to-play account. And, as always, thank you guys for watching.